Hey, how you doing there, everybody's? Hey, you know, I could have swore I just uh, cleaned that lawn off yesterday of all the leaves. <laughs> yeah, it's that time of year. Got to do it every day. It's Leaf City out there because it's, it's, yeah, one of the things we do here at the old ranch in the, the fall time. Hey, anyway, it's a decent morning out there, 46 degrees as uh, I look around outside. Beautiful day. We're going to be blessed with again. Hey, I'm going to share with you today the gospel from the Word Among Us on this uh, Wednesday, November the 10th. And today they're calling for the uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter 17. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of uh, Luke this morning. How about at 8 p.m.? We insert our card, punch in the pin number, select you know what we want, and viola. Cash is dispensed. Wow. Swift, efficient, uncomplicated, right? Wouldn't you like your interactions with God to be like that too? Just acknowledge him, you know, ask for what you need, follow his instructions, and viola, divine solutions are dispensed. <laughs> yeah, but Jesus is something far more. He's got something far better than, he is far more better than a blessing machine. And he wants something far more for you and I. Yeah, he does heal and provide for us. But above all, he wants to save us and, and make us whole. In today's gospel, all ten lepers began with some measure of faith, and all ten were miraculously healed, right? Yet only one, a Samaritan, came back to thank Jesus. So how, however small his faith was, it was growing and it drove him to worship. He bowed down before Jesus and glorified God. Yeah, imagine his words, Jesus Thank you. Thank you for having mercy and healing me. Whatever the man said, uh, he proclaimed his faith in Jesus' power. His power, of course, to heal. But Jesus responded, your faith has saved you. A word that means made whole. Because this man returned to worship, uh, God, he worshiped God and expressed his, uh, his gratitude. He received the wholeness that Jesus wanted uh, for all the, uh, the other ten, the other guy, the other men that were there, the other lepers. He was healed in spirit as well as in body. Something better uh, even than being healed of leprosy. You know what I'm saying? You may have many needs and, and desires yourself. Jesus cares about them all. But what he cares most about is uh, his ability to, you know, to make us whole, filled with faith, freed from sin, and confident in God's love. Yeah, he wants you to live with him forever. That's where we're going with this. And that can happen as you have faith. Whatever size it is, expresses itself in, in worship. Your worship opens your heart to God's power to heal and restore. And it begins with simple words of gratitude. Fall at the feet of Jesus today. Thank for one thing he has done for you. Okay, folks, thank for his mercy. And then worship him. Pray, Jesus, thank you for caring so deeply about me. I worship you with all my heart. Amen. Worship Jesus today, whatever uh, you're going through, whatever in your life, uh, and just remember the God of the universe has got you today and always. Okay? Pray for one another today also, my friends, and uh, pray for this world uh, that we live in. Uh, especially right now, wow, this world needs prayer. So do that today. Make this an enjoyable day and know that God loves you and so do I.